Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness, guys. Six days down. Yes, you made it. Six days. We are done tonight at midnight. If you started with me since day one, um, which you can look back at the videos to see when we started. We started last Saturday night going into Sunday. So if you started at that point, you'll be done um, at midnight tonight. So I just want to congratulate you on uh, a job well done. Um, if you slip throughout the time, that's fine. Just continue to go on for these last 24 hours. God will honor you just the same. If you're struggling in your faith today with fasting, whatever it is that you turn down, um, just remember, I got a little short things for you to say. You know, you can ask God to fill you with strength, help you use this as a time of growth, renewal, renewal, excuse me, and healing. Calm your anxiety. If you're dealing with anxiety about whatever you chose to turn down, that is just a short prayer. You can go before God. Guys, you can go before God just like you go before people, you know, just in a respectable fashion. I won't be before you long. I was so blessed last night up kind of late with the paint, sip and pray that I told you guys we were going to do last night at my church. Um, just such a blessed time. The ladies were really moved, really relaxed. We learned some relaxation techniques and just fellowship. We had some uh, Holy Bahama Mamas and some lemonade and strawberry cocktails. Just really blessed time. Um, I'm thinking about doing that, you know, for some people that's close in my life, you know, just a holy non-alcoholic time where people can just really gather and just love on each other and just appreciate the goodness of, of God and the things that he's doing in our lives. Um, this is coming to the end of our fast. I won't be before you long because we get ready to go to the Mother's Day brunch. I will be performing today. So we're going to try to go live with that or I'll add the video later on to my YouTube channel to pray you guys are blessed by that. So as we go to Jeremiah chapter 22, no, 23 and 24, this is what the Lord says, let not the wise man boast of his wisdom or the strong man boast of his strength or the rich man boast of his riches, but let him who boasts boast about this, that he understands and knows me that I am the Lord who exercises kindness justice and righteousness on earth for in this i delight declares the lord and i'm reading in the um niv bible it's a women's devotional bible it used to be my grandmother so blessed um it has a lot of devotions in the middle of scripture um that's a good bible for you to get if you're just beginning because the niv bible it reads it plain like you understand it you won't really see the dust and the vows in there um it just really breaks scripture down for you to understand and then just this short reading, a devotional that's in there, um, it's titled, Remember. To say God is enough is to give an absolute and incontrovertible answer to every doubt and every question that has arisen or can arise. It may not seem to be our consciousness that any prayers are answered or any promises fulfilled. But what of that? Behind every prayer and behind every promise, there is God. And if he exists at all, we know he must be enough. I have discovered that nothing else really matters. Neither creeds, nor ceremonies, nor doctrines, nor dogmas. God is. God is unselfish and God is enough. So I want you guys to remember today, guys, gals, ladies, men, God is enough. And if we reach out and seek him, he will reach out and search us. He will search our hearts. There we will find peace. There we will find happiness. And again, whatever you call your higher power, I'm not the one. And I, I don't care who thinks otherwise. I have a relationship with my God. Whatever you call your God, as long as you're not an atheist and you believe in the word, that's all I really care about. Goodness, righteousness, the, the uh, sacrifice of his son. I believe in all that. If you believe in that, then what's so wrong with that? I don't see anything in the word that goes against people. You know, and people say, well, some things were changed. Some things were taken out. I agree. But this is the information age. If you really want to search that, search it. But don't not believe. 
You know, I, I once heard T.D. Jake say, I'd rather live this leave, I'd rather live in this world as if there is a God and dying and finding out that there's not versus living like there's not a God and dying and finding out that there is, right? Let's just be righteous in everything that we do. And not to say everyone who goes to church is going to make it into heaven. That's not, that's not what I believe. Some of the worst sinners are there. And some of the people that you think are never going to make it into heaven have a heart of gold. It's what's in a man's heart. What is in your heart today? Well, I got to go. We have 24 hours. So I'll get back with y'all in the morning, hyped up and excited and congratulating you for getting through your seven day fast. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Today is the 7th. You be well, be safe. I ask for God to give you travel and mercy and protect you on the highways, byways, and expressways. And remember, most importantly, you are the missing link. Go gather your sheep.